Hello, this is Andrew Davey with Nevada Ford, and we're here with Eileen Eady from Together We Will Nevada. Thanks for joining us. Thank you, Andrew. So, uh, first off, why are you here at Senator Heller's office today? We're here doing a day of action to encourage Senator Heller to keep supporting a no vote on the AHCA or Trump Care mm -hmm. um, because we don't think that a bill that's going to lose coverage for yeah, over 100,000 I mean, Nevadans you know, and 81,000 people off of Medicaid, that's not good for Nevada at all. So, what, um, so first off, um, why do you think there will be that many Nevadans? Um, you know, I've heard estimates even of over 200,000. Right who could lose coverage. They're saying over 200,000 by the end of 2024 mm -hmm. lose coverage also. So just due to the Medicaid cuts the Medicaid cuts and, and cuts so to um, cuts to the insurance cuts protection. To the insurance protection and cuts cuts to the restrictions placed on not being able to insure people with pre-existing conditions, which would affect actually my entire family. So if my husband were to change jobs, um, mm -hmm. we would all lose the ability to get our insurance. So this really hits you at home. It does hit us at home and Cobra is extremely expensive. Everybody says, oh, but there's Cobra. Well, Cobra is about the equivalent of one month's rent mm -hmm. for a family of five. Yeah. So that kind of puts it in perspective. So you can either make a mortgage payment or a rent payment, or you can pay for Cobra. So what in the current Trump care bill from at least from what we've seen thus far worries you the most? I would say the rollbacks on Medicaid worry me the most because Nevada is going to have to make up for a two hundred million or two hundred thousand dollars deficit yeah. in the budget if the rollbacks to Medicaid occur. That really worries me the most. And the second thing that worries me is the ability to not insure someone who has a pre-existing pre condition. It really leaves a lot of people out hanging. Children, mm -hmm. adults with chronic illnesses, um, elderly people all have pre-existing conditions mm -hmm. because they're elderly. Women have pre-existing conditions. Pregnancies could be pre-existing conditions. And defunding Planned Parenthood. We need those funds for Planned Parenthood. People need that service. Yeah, that's another thing that's gotten a lot of tension at, as of late. Even even though Senator Heller has said he opposes um, Trump Care Bill, yeah, he's been on record supporting cuts to Planned Parenthood. Even though he said he wouldn't cut Planned Parenthood. In fact, I know he told Annette Magnus from Battle in Progress that he wouldn't cut Planned Parenthood. So, mm -hmm. you know, uh, I, I feel like he's talking out of both sides of his mouth, and that's not what we need. We need Nevada, we need Nevada legislatures, people in office, who are going to stand up for Nevada and not for their party. We need people to stand up for Nevadans and not Republicans. We need people to think of all of Nevada mm -hmm. as a whole, regardless of their party affiliation. Yeah. Well, last time Senator Heller has spoken to the public, to the press, he said last month here in Southern Nevada, he opposes the current Senate Trump Care Bill. Right. Now, since then, his language has gotten a little cagey again. It has. So, is that why you're you're here today? We are here. We are here because saying that you don't support a bill in its current form is not saying that you don't support a bill that's going to cut care for Nevadans. So, ultimately, what what do you want Senator Heller to do? We want him to oppose the current bill. We want him to work across party lines and have a bipartisan effort. If they're going to put health care reforms in place, it needs to be a bipartisan effort. It needs to come, everyone needs to come together at the table instead and, of just one party yeah. or the other. And should Trump care go down this summer? Or should there still not be even a vote on Trump care and they decide to proceed with another bill? What would you like Congress to do instead? I would like Congress to ensure that people who are on Medicaid do not lose their care. I would like them to ensure that we don't cut pre-existing conditions out of the, out of the insurance pool. Mm -hmm. We need to keep that protection for pre-existing conditions there. And we need to make sure that we don't defund Planned Parenthood any more than what they're already planning on doing. Yeah.